What am I? What am I? No idea. I'm a no idea. All right, special presentation from 362 St Kilda Road, St Kilda. Why are we in here? Because we've been cleaning some shit up. That's why we're in here. Uh, we're not really doing some training. Um, it's just for you, just for you to make you feel, um, uh, not like you're missing something, but to know what you're looking forward to getting back to. Looking forward to getting back to 362 St Kilda Road. Real soon, me thinks, real soon. Um, it is Tuesday. Tuesday before it comes before Wednesday. It comes after Monday. It's how the week was set up by little Lord baby Jesus. I don't know why. Anyway, so part A, eight rounds for time of 20 kettlebell swings, 10 alternating pistol squats. Eight rounds for time, 20 kettlebell swings, 10 alternating pistol squats. Part B, 10 minute AMRAP, 20 mountain climbers, 20 squat jumps. Just a shit ton of conditioning. A little bit of skill in the pistol squat, but really treat it like a conditioning day and just go balls to the wall. All right, warm up is two to three rounds, 10 air squats, 10 Cossack squats, and 10 kettlebell deadlifts. Kettlebell dead's pretty simple, belly nice and tight, back flat. That'll be your third movement, just 10 reps. Prior to that, 10 Cossack squats to take your feet nice and wide. If you can come up and over to start with, then do so, and then you might find as you warm up, stay as low as you can. At the very top, you've got 10 air squats, three rounds. First one is just simple garden variety air squats. Second round, round two, you're gonna do 10 narrow squats. So toes and heels together, sit your hips back, drive your knees out, start to stretch your ankles. The third round for your air squats, 10 varied squats. So I might do my first one really toe out, second one really pigeon toed, like a split one, do whatever. So mix it up a little bit, round one, two, and three. Groovy, ha ha. Part A is eight rounds for time, 20 kettlebell swings, 10 alternating pistol squats. Kettlebell swings, if you've got a light to moderate kettlebell and you're comfortable going overhead, then do so. If you've been only able to grab a heavier kettlebell for our time away from the gym and you're not comfortable going overhead, then just go to eye level. Cool, makes sense. Um, on top of that, if 20 at a light to moderate kettlebell swing feels easy, what should you do? Go what? You could go overhead, that's the first thing. Also add a few more reps. So I don't mind if you maybe take that. Some people will have unfortunately come out with like weight that's just too easy for 20 swings, even if they swing it overhead. So maybe add a few more reps. Maybe do 30 reps instead of 20. Cool? Try and imagine if you will, what it feels like to do 20 heavy kettlebell swings versus 20 light, and then try to make that 20 light feel like 20 heavy. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Once you've done your 20 kettlebell swings, you've got 10 alternating pistol squats. As always, if you can do 10, do 10. If you want to scale back, you're going to stick with 10 reps, but our first option is to do uh, pistol squats to a box, a bench, or a chair. I'm sure you've got one of those three items at home. Second scale back is a prawn squat, so the rear leg um, extends back and we bring the back knee to the floor rather than taking the leg out the front. And the third option is reverse lunge or reverse lunge, lunch as we call it. It's very funny. Of course, and then I'm just gonna step back, knee to the floor, try and control it. You don't wanna dump that knee to the floor. So slow and steady, foot on the floor, knee on the floor, all in the standing leg. Cool? So eight rounds for time, 20 kettlebell swings, 10 alternating pistol squats. Get it? Got it? Good. That line was made famous by who? A dynamic duo. Part B, is that a B? Got it. Got it. Yeah. Part B is a 10 minute AMRAP of 20 mountain climbers and 20 squat jumps. 20 mountain climbers, 20 squat jumps, 10 minute AMRAP. So many rounds and reps as we can complete. 20 mountain climbers. The mountain climbers, I'm gonna put some specific standards in for the mountain climber. First time we did it, it was a bit like a free for all. You know, we could jump our feet to wherever. So now we're gonna start one foot near the palm, the other foot away. And then they need to switch all the way in. So my foot needs to come up near my hand and then switch, cool? So we can't just do these little things because they do fuck all. Once we've done our 20 mountain climbers, you've got 20 squat jumps. Bottom of the squat, drive through the heels, make sure your hips and knees are extended at the top and you've got to leave the floor. 10 minute AMRAP, 20 mountain climbers, 20 squat jumps. If I'm breathing hard from six or eight reps in the warm up, 
your kid's going to be breathing hard from 10 minutes of this. Cool? Uh, there's no scaling for that besides a squat jump. If you can't do a squat jump, do an air squat. Um, if you need any other scaling, put it on the Facebook page. Apart from that, have a groovy old time. This is the gym, that's the dog. She misses you, she's got crazy cabin fever. Um, hashtag CFSTK, hashtag CFSTK at home slash at the gym. Hashtag CFSTK together. Hashtag CFSTK, it won't be fucking long now. All right team, have a good one.